Cougars, I'm Madison O'Neill. And I'm Aiden Moon, and we're your KTHS TV producers. Each Thursday throughout the school year, the KTHS team will be bringing you news from around the campus and the community. Our news show is during your advisory period on Thursdays and can always be found on the school newspaper's website, thscougarclaw.com. As we kick off the new year, we have a few things to review. We start with Principal Scott. Hey Cougs and welcome back for an outstanding school year. I'm your Principal Chris Scott. I want to welcome all of our freshmen into Tomball High School and for our returning sophomores, juniors, and seniors, let's get ready for an outstanding year at Tomball High. Hey Cougs, this year we're going to be focusing on some big rocks as we get back into school. One, I'm excited about 100% face-to-face learning. That's going to be a great way for us to start. As we get back in, we're going to continue to focus on college, career, and military readiness for all students. That's going to make sure that you're well prepared for that next step after high school. In addition to that, we're going to also continue to focus on skills that are going to help you be great in that next step in life, like writing and speaking. So you're going to hear your teachers talking about using writing and speaking with academic vocabulary regularly in your class. So let's get, get excited and put that effort in there. Your teachers are really going to help you with that. And finally, again, we're going to look at personalized instruction. What is it that you need to do to get better this year in whatever capacity that is? That's our goal and our job is to help support you being the very best you can be. And finally, it's time to get back involved with those clubs and activities. We are looking for 100% participation of all of our students in some sort of extracurricular or club activity at our school. So connect with your teachers, connect with those sponsors, let's get involved at THS this year and let's have an outstanding first day of school. Associate Principal of Beer Camp, who is in charge of all the senior events, is also here with news. Hey everyone, welcome to Tomball High School. My name is Mark Vierkand. I'm the Associate Principal over Operations here at Tomball High School. Just wanted to talk to you about a couple of things. Number one is your student ID. Everyone's going to be getting a student ID starting today, Tuesday. Freshmen will get them at lunch. Wednesday we'll pass them out to sophomores. Juniors on Thursday, seniors on Friday. So everyone should already have an ID. If for some reason when you come to pick one up, you don't have one, we'll make you one. Okay, and every ID is smart tag enabled, which means that you know, if you are going to ride the bus, you'll need the smart tag on it uh, to check out library books, to go into the cafeteria. All that good stuff needs to be smart tag enabled. So these are already enabled for you. But the reason why I mentioned that is make sure you don't bend or break these IDs or punch holes in the IDs because that will uh, destroy that feature of it and you won't be able to use it anymore. The expectation for all students is that you're wearing it around your neck at all times. You're going to get a lanyard, you're going to get a plastic case, and you're going to get your ID. As soon as you walk in the building, it needs to be on, not in your backpack, not in your pocket. It needs to be around your neck. So please make sure you take care of that for us. That's going to be the expectation for all of us, okay? Um, next thing, I'm over seniors, so all you seniors out there, it's me, I'm over you. Um, we are going to have a senior sunrise on August the 26th. That's Thursday, where you come out to the stadium at 6.40 in the morning. We'll have food, we'll watch the sunrise, we'll start out uh, our senior year in fashion that way. Student Council is really big with this, so is the senior parent organization. So thank them uh, for all their help in getting that uh, together for us. Also, we took senior photos uh, recently here. If you missed out on that, we will have a makeup day for you, so don't worry about that. Now, seniors, there's one job I need you to do, and I need you to do it quickly. I need you to come up with a t-shirt design. We will be selling our senior t-shirt with all the names on the back. So uh, get with your class officers and come up with some t-shirt designs, and we'll send out a probably a Google uh, sheet for you to vote on it and uh, we'll get those sold too. It's going to be a great year. Everyone, make sure you wear your IDs, and let's have a great year. Thank you. What's going on, Tomball High School? This is THS El 22, Dress Code Edition, brought to you by Mr. Helm and Ms. Cooley. Well, we're talking all things dress code, trying to show some highlights, trying to show some lowlights, uh, trying to highlight some of the things that we can and can't do as far as dress code here at Tomball High School. All right, you ready to bring the boom, Mr. Houghton? Let's bring it. Here comes the boom. All right, first on the agenda, hair. 
hair should not cover the eyes or it shouldn't be colored in a style or styled in a way that's distracting to the learning environment. Male students, you guys got to clean, be clean shaven this year and your hair cannot be down below your shoulders. If it is, you're just rubbing it in bald people's faces. So you're going to have to put it up in a man bun. Miss Cool, you're telling me if Aquaman comes walking through the hallway, you're going to dress code him? I'm not going to be worried about Aquaman's hair, but I'm going to let you take care of that. Yeah, I got this. All right, let's see what else we got. Next, tattoos and piercings. Guys, if you have tattoos that are visible students, they must be covered. We don't want to see who your girlfriend is on your neck. We don't want to see whatever you got on your arms. Cover that up. Um, so we don't have to see it here at Tomball High School. And uh, guys and girls, um, if you have piercings um, all over our body, we can't have those either. The only piercings we allow here at Tomball High School are ear piercings for girls. We can't have ear piercings for boys, can't have nose rings, can't have lip rings, can't have forehead piercing things, like whatever else there is. The only piercings here at Tomball High School are ear piercings for girls. Gotta take them out. 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 All right, hats, hoodies, bandanas, always an exciting topic. Basically, bottom line, you can't wear it. You cannot have your head covered. We got to see what's going on. So caps, hoodies, bandanas, hats, none of it. Can't wear it. Leave the hats at home. Leave them in your car. Put them in your backpack. Uh, we can't see them or we will be taking them up if they're on your head in the hallway. What if it's cold outside? If it's cold outside, um, then bring some hot chocolate. Okay, but don't wear your hoodie. Mm -mm. Not in the building. Not in the building. Shirts. Guys, we need to have adequately covered shirts. Um, so all of that uh, low cut, see-through, spaghetti strap, backless, midriff stuff, we can't have that. Got to be covered up. And boys, um, we cannot have sleeveless shirts. Even if it's hot outside, we gotta have sleeves on our shirts. Mr. Howden, we need some examples. We need some what not to do. Hey, roll the highlight Here. film. Oh, there it is. There it is. Now we can't be doing this like cut off, button down shirt stuff, installing muscles. Like we're still waiting for that guy to have his muscles installed. Guns out, guns out, but not at THS. Not at THS, not at all. No, no. girls. Bottom line, keep it covered. You don't want to see your belly. Can't be having spaghetti straps. Keep it covered. It's cold in the building. It, I suggest it wear usually a is cold in here. Wear a sweatshirt. Yep. Keep it covered. Our pants, shirts, skirts, and shorts, excuse me, need to be uh, mid thigh or longer. So, girls, uh, make sure your shorts and your skirts are mid-thigh or longer. And boys, uh, same for you. We don't want to see that ugly Larry, ba Larry Bird shirt, short combo. Keep it all locked up somewhere in your dad's closet, your grandpa's closet, somebody's closet. We don't want to see that anymore. Mid-thigh. That's where your pants got to be. Or your skirts. Or your shorts. Oh, look at that. Pants, skirts, and shorts, two slides. Rips yeah. in the pants must yeah. be below mid thigh. We can't be having rips up top. And also, no sagging. Got to keep the pants pulled up above the hip bones. Yeah, it's easier to walk. You have to walk yeah. weird if your pants are too low. Yeah, you got to get to class up. on time. So yep. get your pants up. Yeah. All right, let's see what else we got, Mr. Houghton. Slogans and branding. Guys, if you have shirts, shirt, uh, sweatshirts, jackets, backpacks, whatever, that talk about sex, drugs, alcohol, tobacco, keep it at home. We don't want to see that. We don't need that here. Um, and if you accidentally wear a shirt or something that has one of those on there, we have wonderful shirts here at Tomball High School where you can showcase your cougar pride. 
at the Pride of Texas by wearing a Tomball High School Spirit shirt. If you forget to wear a shirt, if you forget and wear a shirt that has this, or if from one of our previous slides, you got, you're a boy and you have sleeveless shirts, or a girl, you have a, a shirt that's too exposing, we've got shirts to help you cover up. Yes, we do. Oh, look at this, Mr. Houghton, ID badges. All right, we're gonna be wearing our ID badges all day, every day. You're gonna yeah. get your new ID badge at lunch this week, the first week of school, we're gonna get you a new one and we wanna see it around your neck every day. Look at that form. He's like, it's around his neck. We can see who he is. We know that he's a, a student at Tomball High School because he's wearing his ID. Uh, the appropriate way, not in his pocket, not on his backpack, but it's around his neck. All star, all star right there. Guys, at this time, masks are optional, um, but we know that people are making personal choices, some to wear a mask and some not to wear a mask. We ask that if you are choosing to wear a mask or not choosing to wear a mask, that you're respectful of those who are doing the opposite of you. We don't need to have any problems. Guys, this is a personal decision and we respect the decision of everyone. So let's make sure that we are being respectful of others. All right, Mr. Houghton, this broadcast is brought to the THS students by the TISD Student Handbook. We encourage you to record, duplicate, and share this with all other THS students. And remember, Keep it covered unless it's your head. Thank you guys. It can be tough figuring out which AP and counselor you need to see. Here's a breakdown for you. It goes by last name, not grade. First, for your assistant principal, if your last name starts with A through EI, you'll see Miss Cooley. EL to LI, you're with Mr. Craft. LL to RIV, you're with Miss Street. And for RO to Z, you're with Ms. Mr. Houghton. It's a bit different for counselors. For A to C, you'll see Ms. Fan. D to H E, you will go to Ms. Williams. H I to M O O, you'll see Ms. Hill. M O R S A N, you will go to Ms. Howell. And S A P to Z, you will see Ms. Coleman. So did you get all that? If not, don't worry. Pick up a copy of the Back to School edition of the Cougar Claw newspaper in the red boxes around the campus and library. All of this is in there, plus a map of the school's schedules for football and volleyball and much more. There's another counselor you should know, the college and career counselor, Miss Nichols. She's in a new location this year and, it, and is here to show you how to find her. Hi everybody, Ms. Nichols here, your college and career counselor. I just wanted to let you know that my office has moved. I'm now up front kind of by the comments where the cougar's eyes and the glass uh, windows. So come on in, I'll show you where my office is. I'm right here at the front, um, 1102A. Here's a little sneak peek. Mrs. Fuentes will be the receptionist um, when you come into 1102. And Mrs. Namkin is my assistant. She's right down here. So if you keep going right past the wall, Hi. there is Ms. Namkin. Um, Mrs. Baker will also be assisting us this year and she's located in the registrar's office. We just wanted to say welcome back and we're looking forward to a great 21-22 school year. Ms. Nichols will be on air regularly with the College and Career Info. You'll see Mr. Jesse talking about the library. Do you drive yourself to school? If so, non-reserved parking permits will be sold during lunches and after school starting Friday. There are sign-up sheets on the AP office window in the lower lobby. Please sign up for a time to come and get your permit. Bring $35, your driver's license, proof of insurance, license plate number, make, model, and color of your car, and a random drug test form signed by a parent to keep on file. Seniors who want a reserved spot must bring $100 instead in cash or to check payable to THS. There's so much more, including information on our new football stadium, but that's all the time we have for today. We'll be back on Thursday with a lot more. Until then, have a great first day of school, and as always, Go, Go Cougs! Cougs.